Because, let's be realistic, what we really want is the drama. With shouting, foot stomping and islanders just generally getting mugged off, there's been no shortage of people kicking off in the villas over the years. Especially this year, with the fallout from. So, in honor of that bust up in the villa between Ellie, Georgia, Donnie, Laura, Wes, New, Jack, and Alex, here are nine of the biggest fights to grace the Love Island villa. When Terry revealed that he really doesn't share food, yes, you read that correctly. 2016's Terry had made himself a tosi and his partner Molland decided to cut it into pieces for her, and Olivia Buckland, to try. He wasn't happy about it, claiming that it was enough to make him want to leave the villa. When Johnny called the away, gigantic bell end, possibly one of the most dramatic recouplings in Love Island history took place last year. Johnny wanted to pick Tyla, who he had been cracking on with but Theo got there first. And after Georgia picked Amber's boyfriend, Tim, they were the ones left standing solo at the end. In his speech, Johnny said he was picking her as a gigantic bell end, hadn't given him much choice, although there wasn't really a fight fight, since Marcel stepped in. And then Amber headed out with Georgia this one was hard to watch. Amber was absolutely raging with new girl Georgia picked her long-standing villa boyfriend Tim, and we definitely understand why. But Georgia also had a point, she's new in the villa and had to pick someone, still, most of the islanders jumped to Amber and Kem's defense, which left poor Georgia on her own. When Katie, accidentally, spilled a drink on Malia new girl Malia took Katie's partner, Scott, out for a date, and Katie wasn't too happy about it. So things were already incredibly tense when they all came back in. But Katie, accidentally, spilling her wine at Malia's shoe didn't help the situation and, well, it all kicked off. Things ended up getting so bad that Malia ended up being removed by security. On her first night, when Johnny and Camilla clashed over feminism this was, this was just really awkward to watch. Honestly, we're not too sure what else to say. When Malin returned to confront boyfriend Terry over his relationship with Emma Jane so, Malin got booted out of the villa. And boyfriend Terry decided not to go with her. Instead, he started up a relationship with new girl Emma Jane while Malin was watching at home, and, understandably, she was pretty annoyed by it all. So she returned to confront him about it all while he was on a lad's day out with Scott. Ox. When Rosie called out Adam for trying to crack on with Megan before he coupled up with Zara, Adam was paired up with Rosie, dot, but it was far from smooth sailing for both of them. Especially when Rosie found out that Adam had been trying to crack on with her pal, Megan, behind her back. And that he told Jack there was major alarm bells in their relationship. She decided to put it all out in the open, in front of everyone in Villa at the time. Wendell Eva took on just about everyone in the Villa fresh off live having a standoff with Sam, Montana called her housemate confrontational. So Olivia decided to confront her about it in front of everyone in the villa, leaving Montana in tears. Marcel the mediator tried to intervene, but things managed to get even worse. When Bethany told Jess what everyone thought of her for no reason, ouch. Bethany had barely unpacked her suitcases in the villa before she began to tell Jess what everyone watching the series thought of her. She said it was because she thought it was the right thing to do, but it looks like the rest of the islanders disagreed. Share article